If you experience both curiosity and discomfort toward BDSM and kink, perhaps you will find a deeper understanding that renders these activities and relationships less foreign than you might have previously imagined. If you are a mental health professional, perhaps you will feel intrigued by the suggestion that within the intentionally transgressive sexualities of kink and BDSM, there is a telos or deeper purpose that is drawing people forward in their individuation process. As the historically negative professional attitudes towards sadomasochism evolve, the time is ripe for clinicians to cultivate greater psychological curiosity toward the topic and its practitioners. Historically, from the early days of psychology, starting with Richard von Kraft Ebbing's Psychopathia Sexualis, sadomasochism and related forms of what today we would refer to as alternative sexualities were regarded as perversions or pathological disorders. In the final years of the 19th century, Sigmund Freud pioneered the field of depth psychology, which introduced the concept of the unconscious. He proposed that what society condemned as perversions were in fact variations in human sexuality, that is, referencing sexuality's polymorphous nature. And that which was esteemed as normal sexuality was but one of those variations. Freud developed a more nuanced understanding of sadomasochism as a fusion of destructive and pleasurable impulses that are common to everyone, an aspect of the psyche with which we all must contend. Jung and Hillman developed their own theories of the psyche as an autonomous unseen collective force that appears through primordial fantasy images. By imagining psyche as soul, they created room for a more poetic and metaphorical approach to understanding human experience and the hidden forces that draw the soul toward erotic underworld experiences. Where we are at our most unconscious, the soul is at work, speaking through our peculiar habits, our sexual secrets, our visceral reactions and extreme emotions. And so it is reasonable to pursue a line of questioning here that posits at the beginning that in BDSM and kink, where we find arguably the most extreme, the most intense and the most imaginative expressions of human sexuality, the soul is at work, seeding the imagination with its extravagant fantasies.